Nesbitt here, Next Gen Outfitters, another wild game Wednesday. Welcome in. We, uh, we found a recipe from our friends down at Realtree, Timber to Table. You ought to check that out. There's a lot of good recipes on there. We're going to try one today. It came in our email. It is going to be smothered tater tots. So we're going to grill up some antelope steaks. Uh, we're going to make some beer cheese sauce. We're going to cook those tots out on the Traeger, get a little smoke flavor added into those. And then we're going to put it all together, make a good uh, platter of smothered tots, and see how it turns out. So come on in, let's see how it goes. The beer cheese sauce is really the highlight of the whole thing. It's pretty versatile. You could use it in a lot of different dishes. And so we wanted to slow down a little bit, kind of show you how we're doing this. It can get clumpy and kind of grainy on you if you're not careful. So we'll try to give you a few tips here to try to prevent that. So first thing I'm going to do is nice and low. We'll just get the butter in there melting until that's all melted and sizzles up a little bit. All right, so we've got our butter melted. It's nice and hot. Now this is the part that you can really make sure that your sauce stays smooth. So we're going to add about three tablespoons of flour. And we really start to stir that around. You can see how at first it was really clumpy, I'll call it. That's a technical cooking word. And now it's really starting to smooth out. And so what we want to do to help with both flavor and just kind of the texture of the sauce is really let that kind of start to cook. So it's been about three minutes and hopefully you can see in there it's really starting to get that golden brown when you're kind of stirring it up off the bottom. So now we'll add about a cup of milk. Again, this basic roux, basic white sauce. And what you want to do here is not just dump in. You can really see that start to sizzle. And you don't, you want to keep it hot. So don't dump in a full cup of cold milk. You can see how that's really starting to tighten up nice. And this is the stage that we really season everything. Now again, the beer is cold. I'm going to take this off the heat for this stage. And we're going to add about a cup of beer. So now as you start to add this, it should really start to smooth out. Look like a pretty nice looking sauce. So we've got some smoked cheddar. I had a little half block of provolone. We shredded all that up. We've got maybe three to four cups. I'm not sure of the measurement, but you want it to be about half sauce, about half cheese. this up real quick. Uh, again, thanks for joining for Wild Game Wednesday. That was steak and beer cheese smothered tater tots. It turned out fantastic. I'll tell you the best thing to do is take your time with that cheese sauce. Uh, don't get in a hurry. Don't get it locked up. <clears throat> don't add all that milk and uh, beer at once. Uh, take your time with it and you'll be pleased with what you end up with and it'll be fantastic. So thanks for joining. Make sure you click like, join the channel, so you can get a little ping every time we put one of these out. Thanks.